you could watch that second showing of whatever movie was after that movie that you previously paid for. That was it. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to be watching at this moment. Watching the same movie or the different movie that's on that same screen. He's not watching that different movie on that exact same screen. He's watching a different movie on another screen. So, and when that that applies to the how how this, what I was saying about the whole movie theater thing, it's like saying like, oh, a person purchased their ticket for one of the movies that they wanted to watch. Okay, they purchased the movie. Now they're watching their movie. They're done with their movie, but they decided to go to another movie, you know, another movie room to watch another movie. They didn't purchase a ticket, but they you know, went into the other movie anyway. So you had to go in there and tell them like, hey, you can't be in here. You didn't purchase a ticket for this movie. But I thought me purchasing a ticket for this movie allows me to have access to all these other movies. No, that's not how it works. You need to stop. Think about what you just said because you need to clearly understand the fact is you purchase a ticket for this set movie to watch, go buy another ticket so you can watch another movie. Buying one ticket does not give you free access to all these other movies. You only pay one ticket to watch one movie, accept that ticket, accept watching that movie, and be done with it and leave. Don't be here. Go somewhere else if that's the case. I mean, I get it. Most people have issues that don't want to go back home. I get it. But you can't be in here not trying to freeload because you don't want to go home. You better purchase a ticket because you're 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 just you're just you're on my time. And I hate when people are on my time and they do that. So that's what I have an issue with. But again, so back to this guy who is trying to defeat my logic and whatever Knowing the fact that he told me that uh, he could do whatever he whatever he wants in his car and blah 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 and having the radio set to whatever he wants to have it set to that was bullshit. That was bullshit. You can't do that. I mean, I get it. You, but you. That's not. That's not how it works here. Yeah, he could do that because he's in his own car and he's minding his own business. But you're in here. You're in the driving. You're in, yo. Know, you're in someone else's property, and you have no right to do what you're doing in someone else's property, just like that. Regardless of oh, you purchased the ticket or whatever. You purchase a ticket to watch a movie. You purchase a ticket to watch this movie. You purchase the ticket to watch the second movie that comes after this movie. Not the other way to watching a different movie because you didn't feel like you needed to watch this other movie. Because if you didn't need to watch this other movie, then go back out, repurchase a ticket to go to the other movie. And then have it watching the other movie. But that's not how it is. He wants to, he still wants to deny and deny and deny. So I'm at this point where you can't do that. You just can't do that. I don't want to argue with him. I'm being nice. I'm being, you know, calm, collective, saying, hey, you can't do that. You need to switch your car around or, you know, switch your radio back to that screen. Because you can't be watching this movie. You can't have it on that radio station watching that movie. If you have it on that radio station watching this movie, then you know you just need to leave. So I end up keep saying that to him. He's not getting it. He's not listening. He just wants to run his mouth. He wants to be a child in front of his kid and his girl. And again, he's like don't make me be a you know don't make me feel like I am a child or whatever the case it might be 
And the fact is he's acting like a child, making me feel like I'm smarter than him because I'm making him feel like he's a child. I was like, okay, I'm not dealing with this. I'm just going to go ahead and walk off. Radio my manager so he could deal with the situation. He event the dude who who was just like already like upset the fact that I came over. He's even more upset that my manager came over. He already had the radio off. He already had the radio to the car off. And my manager was also trying to explain to him in the stack situation. I was explaining to him that he does not need to have his radio station onto another movie like that. If you're watching your movie, go watch your movie. At least have your radio stated to that movie. If you're not going to watch it, at least have the radio stated to that one. Because other than that, it makes it look like you're watching that movie. And you shouldn't be watching that movie on the other screen. So, regardless of you paying the ticket, you paid the ticket for that movie, not the other movie. And my manager is also trying to be calm and saying what he needs to say to the customer but the customer is just not having it he's being a child he's he's complaining he's already moaning about it and he wants to get names and he wants to go and complain about it so he wants to complain to someone who's higher who's in the top ladder of the company and overall again I get it, but I get he shouldn't complain because we're doing our job and we take our job seriously. Now, here's the one thing that kind of got me like, wait, what? Is the fact that he complained about he also worked at a movie theater before. And I feel like he's just talking out of his ass. You can't just say, oh, I work at a theater. I know what's what. And this and that, and then talk out of your ass and say, okay, well then you get it, right? Then you should be listening and doing your job, not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and do what you were supposed to be doing, and watching the movie that you pay for, right? It's the same concept. We take our job seriously because we get paid to be serious about our job. We do the job so we can get paid. We don't be lazy off and not do what we need to be doing. I mean, yes, the movie theater is supposed to be fun. Yes, the driving is supposed to be fun. But when you have customers who just, just be that fucking stupid, just, I don't get it. Like, logic puts it out here for you. If we did this, then we go over and tell you to do something that we know that we're in the right to tell you as the customer because you assume that customers are always right but they're not fucking right i know i'm not fucking right when it comes to getting the stuff that i need to be getting but regardless i feel like i am in the right because i know better that's why i'm in the right to say what i need to say because i know better but the person who doesn't know better is not in the right to say they're right that's how i feel like a customer should be if you're not in the right Thing, you're not right I'm in the right to say what I need to say because I am right and that makes sense but for a customer like this dude he wasn't in the right customer this customer wasn't right you know he's not gonna be able to get a refund for whatever movie he's gonna get he's gonna he is gonna complain to the managers and what I or the owner or to the president of the company he's gonna complain about it. he's gonna complain to it but other than that he's not gonna get anything out of it the reason why he's not gonna get anything out of it because he wasn't right he was just journey wasn't right because at this by after after going through all of that information he's got the manager or the owner or the president is gonna say well, one, our players were in the right to ask you to, you know, about the situation of why you were watching that movie or why you had your radio station onto that radio station for that movie instead of the movie that you were watching for. 
when you purchase the movie for what you're watching for. So technically, our coworkers, our employees were in the right to tell you what you should have been doing and what you should not be doing. And you, the fact that you were complaining about it of because they were doing their job as the co-workers who work here, there's nothing we could do about that. You could complain, you could sue, but you're not going to win this argument at this moment in time. You're just not going to win this complaint that you're going to have trying to force onto me or the co-worker or the, you know, the manager. As simple as that. So, it just, it just mind boggles me how customers think they're right when they know they are not right. And as they have an official reasoning to be right, if they know that they are right. If they have the common knowledge to know that they're right. If they knew what they're talking about in regards and they can't pull out bullshit again it's one of those things it's just it's just one of those things where I feel like you know overall that's what pissed me off as I was just uh, reading into it or the way I was handling the situation how my manager was handling the situation and again it was one of those things where I know it was right you did it my manager know it was right you did it you need to get out of our face about what you're trying to say because regardless of what you're gonna do we're gonna also have this situation in full um yeah so uh i'm gonna have another video up if i don't have another video up it is what it is i'm still having a giveaway for the marshall thing i have five here five in total uh, i will be giving away these um, marshall code cards but the only way you get able to do that is if you are following me on the Pokemon Amino or any other Aminos that have to do with Pokemon and I sent out a battle request and you could get the giveaway by beating me in a Pokemon battle I might live stream so there's a chance you might catch me on the live stream I might just do the giveaway on the live stream so again if you're participating to getting one of these uh, just hit me up either on my Twitter usually I will say probably my Twitter or on um, you know if you want to get this and then we can have a Wi-Fi battle and it will be on the channel and if you win as well again you'll get the little code card thing if not then you can always try it in the next time uh, but again, I have five cards left. I might be live streaming and I might just do Wi Fi battle on, on live stream, and that's how you're gonna get this. Mostly, a lot of people usually come to see my live stream, and you know, we might just do a Wi Fi battle on there, and we can actually get a chance to give away most of these cards anyway. Uh, but yeah. See you guys. Bye.